In this video, we are going to do the graphs of the tangent and cotangent. Let's do the tangent first. We're going to have x in this axis and the tangent in the y-axis. This is a unit circle that has radius 1. And we're calling this x, and this will be the opposite side A, then the adjacent side B. So, we can do this using a calculator, of course. Um, I just drew the unit circle so that you s you're going to see what's going on as x approaches pi half or as x approaches negative pi half. So for x equals 0, what is the tangent of 0? The tangent of 0 would be the opposite side, but when x is 0, this is going to be 0 because what is happening is that x closes, right? So this is going to be 0. And B, so A is going to be 0. And B is going to have the whole value from here to here, which is 1. And 0 over 1 is 0. So for x equals 0, tangent of x is 0. But again, you can do it with a calculator. So we have our first dot right there. For x equals pi over 6, you can, again, use a calculator or use one of the special triangles. So when x is equal to pi over 6, the tangent is opposite side, which is 1, divided by the square root of 3. And if you do that with a calculator, you will see that that is approximately 0 0.58. So 0 0.58 for x equals pi over 6, which is here, 0 0.58 will be, let me do it with the red pen, 0.58 would be somewhere over there. Okay, when x is equal to pi over 4, um, the tangent is opposite divided by the adjacent. So it's going to be 1 divided by 1. So the tangent of pi over 4 is 1. And for pi over 4, we're going to get pi over 4 is right here, so we're going to get this dot here for the graph. And um, if we go on for pi over 3, the tangent of pi over 3 would be opposite divided by the adjacent, which is going to be square root of 3 divided by 1, and that's approximately 1.7. So we're going to get a number over here, the dot over here. Now, um, what happens from this point on? What happens as x approaches pi over 2? What happens when x keeps getting bigger and bigger approaching pi over 2? What is going to happen is this. As x approaches pi over 2, B, which is this, this side here, the adjacent side, is going to be approaching 0. And therefore, the tangent of x, which is a over b, will approach infinity, plus infinity to be exact. Right? Why? If the denominator approaches 0, the um, tangent is going to be bigger and bigger. Let me show you with a calculator. If um, A has a value, let's say, 0.7, and, I, and B, which is the denominator, has a value, let's say, 0.2, then I get 3.5. But the value of um, A is going to get, keep getting closer to 1. So let's say that A now has a value 0.8. But uh, the uh, denominator, which is B, has a value um, closer to 0. Let's say 0 0.01. So you see what happens to the um, tangent keeps getting up. Um, getting bigger. So um, let's say that now the numerator is even closer to 1, it is 0 0.9, but the uh, denominator is even closer to 0, let's say 0 0.001. And what is the value of the tangent? 900. 
So you see the point. Um, when the denominator approaches zero, the tangent gets bigger and bigger. You will see those concepts much better when you take calculus one. So, what we have is that the graph of the tangent keeps going up and up and up. Okay, it's going up. As x approaches pi half, the graph of the tangent keeps going up. But of course, when x is equal to pi half, then the tangent is undefined. That means pi half is not in the domain of the tangent. Okay? There is no value for the tangent of pi half. And uh, what happens when x approaches negative pi half? If x is going in the negative direction, that means x is now approaching negative pi half. Something very similar is going to happen. If you do the same thing but with negative values, then what you're going to get is that the graph does something like this. It is approaching the line at negative pi half but never touching it. So that is the first cycle of the graph of the tangent. And then that repeats over and over again. So the next cycle of the tangent will look something like this, similar to the first one. And we see that the period of the tangent is the distance from here to here and the distance from negative pi half to pi half is pi. So watch out. The period of the tangent is not equal to the period of the sine and cosine. Sine and cosine is 2 pi for tangent. And you will see that the, for the cotangent is the same thing. Um, the period is only pi. Now for the cotangent, uh, it's going to be similar. You can do your table just like we did before. Just keep in mind that the cotangent is not opposite divided by adjacent, but the other way around. So the cotangent is going to be not a over b, but b over a. So keep that in mind. Okay. So, um, and again, you can do all of these things with a calculator, but uh, if you try to find the cotangent of zero, you're again with the calculator, cal calculator, you're going to get a surprise because the calculator is going to give you an error. It's going to say something like domain error. Why is that? Because um, if I try to find the cotangent of zero, cotangent of zero would be adjacent. But when x is equal to 0, the adjacent side is going to be all of this, which is 1. But the opposite is going to be 0, because remember, it closes, and uh, a is going to be 0. And 1 over 0 is undefined. Okay? So we don't have a value for the tangent of 0. However, for all the other values of x, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2, we find them the same way that we did it for the tangent. For example, for pi over 6, the cotangent is the adjacent divided by the opposite. So that's going to give me approximately 1.7, and so on and so forth. This is the same thing we did before. So we get this for pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. We get these three points here. For pi over 2, adjacent over opposite. For pi over 2, when x gets to be pi over 2, the adjacent is going to be 0 when x goes to uh, pi over 2. And um, the opposite is 1. Is one. So we're going to get 0 over 1, which is 0. So we get this point here, that point, that point, and that point. And what happens when x approaches um, 0? When x approaches 0, the adjacent side is going to be approaching 1, but the opposite side is going to be approaching 0. So we already saw that if the denominator is approaching 0, then the cotangent is going to be approaching infinity. And what we are going to get is something similar as what we got before. The graph is going to be something like this. Uh, as x approaches 
as x approaches 0, the cotangent is going to be approaching infinity. And if you keep doing this, you're going to find the other part of the graph. The other part of the graph is going to be something like this. Right? And of course, that repeats over and over again in both directions, in this direction and the other direction. So the other uh, part of the graph is going to be something like this. All right? Okay. And of course, for both the tangent and the cotangent, the period is pi. And we don't talk about amplitude because the amplitude is really infinite. Okay?